NG container in Angular. What is it? And how to use it? All of this in this video. Hey everyone, I'm Zoyeb Khan and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll see three benefits of using ng container. ng container is a special element in Angular which does not render itself on the DOM but allows us to add structural directives such as ngf and ng4. There are at least three ways in which it can help you write cleaner and better Angular apps. So number one, it helps you group elements in Angular templates. Let's take a look at an example. So here we have a sidebar built in Angular for a previous tutorial. And in the sidebar, we have several menu items and each of them should be displayed based on a specific role. So here we have an admin role, a student role and a teacher role. Now the simplest way is to add an NGF directive to all of the items checking for the role. But we can do better here with ng container. So let's add an ng container and then group our items according to it. We're going to give ng container here and we're going to add the if condition here and then we will shift our buttons inside of it and remove the existing ngfs as you can see it's much cleaner now we'll do the same for the student and the teacher great now as you can see it looks much cleaner now and the sidebar remains the same and also it is easier to modify in the future as well number two it saves us from rendering unnecessary elements in the dom let's take the example of a list developers often add an enclosing diff to group multiple elements in a list item so here we have a material list and it looks pretty great but say you want to add a mat divider element after each mat list item a simple way would be to add a parent diff something like this and add a mat divider to this and then add the mat list item above the mat divider and shift the ng4 in the div itself and let's check this out great the mat divider is there and it looks great but let's inspect the developer console here and when we do that we'll see that there is a div there's a there's an extra div here as you can see and then inside here we have this and we have the mat divider so this div seems to be unnecessary now we have about 300 items in this list so you can imagine the effect on performance for large lists. Now let's replace the div with an ng container. Since ng container is not rendered in the DOM, we can get rid of this extra div. So if we, for example, shift this to be ng container and ng container, and then check this out again. Now when we inspect our list, we can see that we don't have any extra div. We have the mat list item, the first one, the mat divider, then the mat list item. So it saves us from unnecessary rendering. Great. Number three, it allows us to combine multiple structural directives without adding any extra elements. Let's take a look at an example. Sometimes we need to use two structural directives at the same time on an element. So for example, in the same list here, what if we want to add an ngf check on the item.image? So if you, for example, add this here and we only want to show this item when there is an image, but Angular doesn't let us. So you can't combine multiple structural directives in one element ng container can help us here now for example we can add another ng container inside of it and then add this ngf to there and then we can shift all of our elements inside of it so effectively ng container is allowing us to combine multiple structural directives and the list remains the same and we have added our checks and we have done this all without adding any extra elements in the dom so as you can see, ng container can be a very simple concept to understand, but can be really helpful in building clean and performant Angular apps. Now, whenever I have to add any condition or loops in my Angular templates, I always go for ng container first. And then if I need to add any styling or whatever, then I can convert it to a div or an HTML element. Hope you found this short video useful. And if you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel so that I can keep bringing you Angular tips and tricks like this. Thanks for watching.